for the first time since announcing he is leaving Congress, U.S. Representative Ken Buck is opening up about his early departure. His last day is tomorrow, and today he gave an exclusive TV interview to your political reporter, Sean Boyd. After working for nearly a decade to change policy and politics from inside the Beltway, Ken Buck will now do so outside the Beltway, starting with changing how we select candidates for office. Why can't you do that while still serving in Congress? Part of it takes fundraising, and I can't raise funds for outside groups if I'm in Congress. Part of it um, involves uh, speaking at times when I would be required to be here to vote. A lot of people have speculated that you're leaving to uh, take a, a national media position. The only people that aren't speculating about that are the network people. Buck says he has no plans to be a commentator or lobbyist, but he will continue to champion causes like small government, less debt, and the breakup of big tech. He wrote a book and passed a package of antitrust bills. His legislative achievements also include making Camp Amachi part of the national park system and preventing workplaces from silencing victims of sexual harassment. But his clashes with MAGA Republicans have drawn more attention. Have you changed or has the party changed? I came here to represent uh, conservatives, and I'm going to stay in, in that lane and, and not try to justify my position. He says the Constitution, not Republican caucus, guide his decisions. I'm not here to lie to my voters. I'm not here to lie to Coloradans uh, or Americans. I'm, I'm here to follow the Constitution. It is the rule book that we should abide by in Congress. Buck won office by 35 points in 2014. This year, he would have likely faced a challenge from the right. Did that play into your decision at all? No, I have never backed down from a fight and I never will back down from a fight. I'm most proud of the fact that I came here to do the job and I'm the same person I was when I came here and I'm gonna to continue to do that job up until uh, the time that I leave uh, on Friday. Do you have any advice for whoever succeeds you? Don't let the money and the prestige and the, uh, all the bells and whistles distract from the very important job that we have to do here, and that's to solve problems for the American people. Sean Boyd, covering Colorado first.